Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey there. I'm Ralph, behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And today, Ralph, one in the Vintage Appliance Series, Toast O Later. Okay? That's an interesting uh, couple of How words. How about that? Oh, I'm also going to put this on the board. Wow. That's our 400th episode? Happy 400th. Yep. Our 400th episode. If, you know, for those who keep track. You don't look a day over 100. <laughs> All green and wrinkled. Um, yeah, I, uh, uh, I wanted to um, uh, feature this toastalator. Now, a long time ago, Ralph, we did a video on the vintage toasters. And you can show our friends there a few that we have in the collection here at the Cavalcade. I've got a few. We did a toast um, to toast. But, and they're all fun, and uh, I shared a lot of the old toasters when we did the vintage toaster recipe. But I want to really just start off with saying a big thank you to my friends Utz and Shirley. And to welcome a new acquisition to yes, your toaster and, collection. And Utz and Shirley said to me, we have a toaster we'd like to donate to your collection. And it is this toastalator. And it is a, a toaster that I didn't have. Uh, it is a toaster that I had only seen pictures of and maybe a couple of videos over the years and I just never ran across one uh, out at the sales. So it's a pretty unique uh, addition to your collection. It really is. So anyways I want to just say again thank you um, for this generous uh, gift to the Cavalcade collection Utz and Shirley and um, it will have a good home among other the other toasters here yeah um, and it'll be at the center of it all so Ralph what's so cool about this toaster well there's a, a lot of things but first of all it's a traveling toaster the toast goes in this side and it comes out this side Wow okay and um, not only uh, this belonged to Shirley's mother. Not only did she have the toaster, Ralph, she had the manual wow. that came with the toaster when it was purchased. Um, and it's interesting, this is Toaster Later Company um, and on Jackson Avenue in Long Island City, New York. That's where this was made. And But this is the luxury toastalator, the luxury toast maker, a, as modern as tomorrow, and it's yours today. Cool. Well, who wouldn't want that, right? Mm -hmm. Anyways, this shows you all the features of the toastalator. By the way, approved by Good Housekeeping, seal of approval right there. Uh, yes. Okay. But uh, this ephemera, the, the paperwork for this toaster is just wonderful. So I just I just love it being able to have this. And it has the instructions on it and the care of the toaster. So, you know, this, see this little knob on the top, Ralph? It's actually a turn screw. I'm going to try to do this. So that comes off, and, and then, then you holds it in place. Yep, and then you lift. The, this is how you clean the toaster out. Ah. Okay. But if you, the reason I wanted to take the cover off is to show people how you'd clean it, and then you just take a little brush or something, or just blow it out. You know, all the little crumbs. But I wanted people to see the inside of the toaster to see sort of the mechanics of it, and. Um, down here, I'm looking here, we get something to point with. Down here is the track. So the toaster goes in, the, the, to, the bread goes in here, and here's the track, and it just kind of 
carries the toast through the machine. These are, of course, your electric coils, which get hot, right, um, when you turn the toaster on. And then the toast comes out the other side. So would you put like a plate at the end so that the toast would fall into exactly it? Exactly right. So um, didn't that, Shirley say that she would love to, when she was a little girl, she would love to just watch the yes, toast? They would take the top off? Well, no, they, there's a window here. Oh, and that's so, how it looks So you there? can watch the toast go through, through this little porthole here. And yeah, it's like having a little show at breakfast. And I can imagine for a kid, even for an adult like me, it would be pretty fascinating. That's right. And then over here, you have your darkness control. And you have this lever, let's show our friends. And here it's light, and here it's dark. Well, what this actually does is this varies the speed oh, of the motor. Which determines the light and darkness. Of right. It. So obviously, the faster the toast moves through, the lighter it will be. The slower it moves through, the darker it will be. So that's basically the idea of how it works. And it's a toastalator. And I just, you know, all chrome here. And then it's got sort of a, oh, I'm not sure if it's Bakelite, but it's some kind of plastic base. Um, and what just an, an ingenious What a gift. So uh, this goes all the, all the way back. Uh, I'm not sure. They, they made these for a number of years. Um, so I'm not quite sure uh, how far back, maybe the what 40s. year that what what year that this was made. Um, I I have a feeling that this was probably after the war. Um, so I'm not sure, but here on this because it says the price retail ceiling price zone one. Um, $19.95, which, you know, was not, you know, uh, inexpensive. It wasn't chicken uh, scratch back No, then. I mean, for a toaster, because I'm sure you could buy other toasters for less than that. Um, but, you know, again, this is the luxury toast uh, toaster. So why wouldn't we want to have this? Uh, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this in here, and we're going to turn it on. Look at that old cord. Yeah, it's got the cloth-covered uh, cord. We're going to turn it on. Then here, Ralph, see there's a switch on this side. This is the intake side where the toast goes in. Now, I don't know if you can get in there and see... It's a little dark to see, but, okay. the, but we'll tell our friends Maybe watching that it's um, moving. If you can see the um, the track kind of moving along in there, probably it's a not. Dark. Okay. Oh, you have a flashlight. You know what? Let me see if I do. We'll be right back. Okay. Now let's put the light through. Kevin did find a flashlight. Oh yeah. Now we can see. see? Can you see it moving? Yes. How cool. Okay. So I've got it kind of in the middle. So here's what we're going to do. It's fairly quiet. Yeah. Um, we're going to take a slice of toast. I'm going to get a plate ready at the other end. Here we go. Look. Oh, hold on. Look at Is how it going it, in? Yeah, it's. I was going to point out when we were looking at the mechanisms and the track that it's kind of an up and down movement as well as a long. Yes. Uh, back and forth. Like it's I an up and down this. as well as to the right and left. And you know, if you you wouldn't be able to see it with the camera, Ralph, but as you look inside the porthole, you can see a couple of the coils um, that are red. Uh, the heating coils yeah. that are red and the toast yeah it's it's almost hard to see even with the eye I'm sure the camera and the toast is coming through here and let's show our friends well, I'm going to turn it this way Ralph so that you can see it coming out you can see the toast coming wow, out that is so cool 
Look at that. It's toasted. You can see it's already. I can finished. smell. This is rye bread, by the way. I can kind of smell. Now we're gonna try this and see. We're gonna try a couple of different um, ways. Darker, darker. Yes, because this is sort of on the lighter side. It looks like. The bread is uh, is hard. There we go. So if you didn't grab so it, what it I'm going to do now off. is we're going to I'm going to put it on a different setting on the darker setting. And this time just and let this. the let the toast fall out cuz I want to okay. see it drop out onto the plate. Look at it go, folks. There it goes. It's, it's so neat. And you can hear it like making yes. it. It's almost like a little mechanical. Yeah, I'm going to be real quiet. And I don't know, Ralph, here, if you can, I'll try to... Oh, yeah, put the flashlight Flashlight. You can see... Um, yeah. Oh, no, better from uh, the other way. Better from the back? Yeah. Okay, it's still hard to see because it's dark. I mean, but if you leave it there, maybe we'll see it as it gets a little bit closer. Anyways, this is just one of these wonderful... Unique. Um, unique uh, appliances. I mean, toasters were certainly commonplace, but here's somebody invented this. Somebody came up with this idea, and how wonderful. I'm surprised it didn't, you know, catch on more. Maybe well, I don't know. You know, it's. It doesn't take any longer than a regular toaster. Not really. I might even say it might even be a little bit quicker. Quicker. See, folks, how it's coming um, coming out of the yeah. little. It's almost like a Here, train. Can you get a, a can you get a side? Can yes. Get it get it from the side. Oh, and look how beautiful. Now now we got a piece of toast. Yeah. It's almost like a train going through a tunnel. It's a toast train. Now, if I can catch it on the plate <laughs> so it doesn't fall off on the floor. floor. Oh, yes. But, Maybe you should put it back the other But way. actually, it's fairly... Um, Lift it up a bit. There, there go. we go. Look. How nice is Look, that? it's actually fairly uh, evenly browned. I'm going to put... I'm going to put get another slice going here. I guess we're having toast for dinner, folks. <laughs> hey, Kevin, turn that one over so we can see how both sides of it are, that piece there. Look. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Even. Very even. Um, you know, toast is one of those just is one of those things, Ralph. That you know, it just it's total comfort. You could open a restaurant and just serve toast. Exactly. With all kinds of different toppings and jellies. And of and course, jam. you know, we say about toast, like so many other things, it's a great butter delivery system. system. Oots and Shirley, here's to you. Mmm. Buttered rye toast. I don't, if there's something better, I don't know what it is. Mmm. Mm. But, I mean, as toast goes, it's pretty it's, toasted. It's toasted. It's beautiful and very even. In the way that it browned. <laughs> and, oh, you know what? I didn't put this in far enough. It didn't get... I'm like, what's going on? Okay. But I like that little porthole. That's very... Oh, now I can see the the coils that have heated up. I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but I'm... With my eye, I'm seeing the coils. Yeah, there you go. There's... The... Yeah, it's pretty bright in here, so... Um, but anyways, this is just great. So while this is toasting, Ralph, let's thank our food friends who've been watching, some of them from the beginning. This is our 400th episode. Wow. And we started doing this in 2011? I think so. And so it has been 12 years and 400 episodes. When will the madness end? I don't know. <laughs> But um, it's been fun, and uh, we're still at it. And like every everybody's life over t a course of 12 years, a million things have changed. And you know, Ralph, I always thought as you got older, 
things slowed down and oh my gosh, we're busier than ever. And one thing that hasn't changed is our devotion to food and to our viewers and to making these little trips back in time through yep. vintage appliances and Kevin's love for, oh yeah, here it comes. Um, no, all that has remained the same and constant over the years. We ask only that you spread the word, Sub share, subscribe to this channel. Yeah, subscribe if you like. And, and you'll get updates and you'll get more information. Um, but let people know about it so we can spread the word for all the and and keep it going have. right and god yeah. willing we'll do another 400 yeah. episodes <laughs> here it comes okay yeah, let here it, it let comes it, let it fall out that'll be fun well all right pretty I, close i guess you need a bigger plate okay. for that but yeah but there it is all, all right. right well thank well, you and then we'll turn it off just like that thanks again to your friends that uh donated this yes thanks again Oots and Shirley, uh, a, a wonderful gift. I'm going to cherish it, and um, it'll it's it's a, a super great addition to the collection here. Thank you, Ralph, for working the camera for this episode and many, many, many episodes over our journey here to 400 between you and. Um, Mary Ann, uh, Mary Ann and occasionally your brother and, Wally and, and yeah I mean I just am grateful um, a couple I've done on my own yeah. solo but uh, you know we always try to figure out a make, way, way to make it work but um, yeah well thank you for sharing your collection and your love of all things well, vintage and analog for so many years for so many friends out there well my pleasure and again uh, we want to say thank you to our food friends um, Here's to here's a toast to everybody's uh, good health and well-being and well-being and um, to the toast later and um, don't forget the website which is cavalcadafood.com uh, where you can connect to all the episodes and all the other things that I've got going on. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay hungry. There. <laughs> check, check, and check. All right, everybody, take care. Until next time, everybody be well. Bye. Bye-bye.